breaking down all 23 things you missed from Survivor Season 46, Episode 9. We're talking all things, the Immunity Challenge Showdown, everyone being mad at Q from last episode, Jeff Probst being crazy with popcorn, the lack of a hidden immunity idol, and much more. Careful for any spoilers if you haven't seen the episode yet, and make sure to stick around as we announce last week's giveaway winner. If you want to enter next week's giveaway, make sure to subscribe to the channel, like the video, and comment down below what you would rank this episode out of 10. Let's get started with number 23, Spicy Jeff. Yes, that's right. The title of the episode is Spicy Jeff. We are instantly reminded of Hunter's and Tiffany's hidden immunity idol, and we all know exactly how that ends up working out. I was pissed. Number 22, Return to Camp. So I gotta say that Q is the kind of player I would never want to play Survivor with, as he caused so much unnecessary chaos at last episode's Tribal Council and basically quit. However, I will give Q some round of applause here for admitting in confessional that quitting wasn't some crazy strategy. He was seriously thinking about it. In my everyday life, when I make a mistake, I raise my hand and I own up to it. So I tried to take the heat and kind of fall on my own sword. Number 21, Tiffany versus Q. At this point, Tiffany is completely done with Q as he told Maria that she has the idol. I fully understand why Tiffany's pissed off at Q, but she should have saved her real thoughts in confessional not to his face. And really that's a major theme for most of the players this episode. Everyone was being way too honest. We'll talk about it later. Earlier in the season, I did think Tiffany had some good winner chances, but now not so much. Number 20, everyone on Q. Ultimately, everyone is just so confused with Q and what's going on in his head. And for sure, no one can trust him anymore because of it. For the rest of the season, he'll be on the chopping block as the easy vote every single tribal council. Out of everyone, it seemed to be Liz was the most pissed off as it took away from her big move. I'm really super pissed. I was making this move so that I wouldn't get lost in the game. Number 19, super fan. With only a few episodes left with Survivor 46, it's time for the biggest discount, the biggest sale of the season with Idol Plays. Listen up, you're not gonna wanna miss this one. The first 10 people to use the code SURVIVOR30 will be getting 30% off their entire order. This will be the biggest discount of the season. Idol Plays is my passion project where I make 13 different Survivor puzzles and games for super fans. We have the Log Maze, Tree Puzzles, Spencer's Five Piece, The Fitz Tower, Snake to the Top, The Iconic Fire Puzzle, and much more. So if you're interested in checking out Idol Plays or you want to help support me in making these videos, please consider going to idleplays.com. And remember the first 10 people to use the code SURVIVOR30 get 30% off their entire order. 100% this is going to be the biggest discount of the season. Number 18, The Majority. Unfortunately, the cross tribal alliance that was hyped up throughout the entire pre-merge of the season, it's completely dead now. Early on this episode, I was predicting the power players to consist of Ben, Charlie, Tiffany, Kenzie, and Venus, as they were all pissed off and hanging out together, really highlighting that Q has no power, Hunter lost his biggest ally, and Q is probably going to be the zero vote finalist. I'm still undecided there. It's either going to be Q or Venus to be the zero vote finalist. Number 17, Hunter's social game. I understand that like Q, Venus is driving everyone crazy, but for the past couple of episodes, I've been suspecting that Hunter might actually have a pretty bad social game. Obviously an amazing physical game, but once again, a player is making a mistake. You can't just say these things to everyone's face. I got mad. Yeah, except you, but you're always mad. It's true. I mean, it's true. No, I've you're been trying to work with you since the beginning, and all you've done I is... Number 16, Day 7. I will never get over the fact that it's day 17 of Survivor, but that means in the new era, the game's almost over. Like I said earlier, at first glance, Hunter is in rough shape, losing his ally in Tevin, not trusting Q and Liz, and being the biggest challenge threat left in the game. At least Hunter has the hidden immunity idol and will be playing it at the next tribal council. 
Right, Hunter? You're gonna play your idol, right? Number 15, making teams. I gotta balance out the positive with the negative. I'm always gonna love Survivor, and the new era has produced many top tier moments, but I despise how every single season it feels like we do the exact same thing as these players need to make their own teams. I did enjoy the small moments on how these teams were made and how one of the groups was just the leftovers. Obviously, the leftover team consisting of Q, Venus, and Liz, but Q is gonna continue Continue to play hard and cause some chaos leading into number 14 Q's plan. Q is a screen hog but it's for good reason as he makes great TV and to be fair it's a pretty good plan he comes up with to try and get Hunter out. Hunter's team is obviously himself, Charlie and Maria and with this being an immunity challenge they have a chance to get Hunter out if the other two decide to throw the challenge. However Maria and Charlie they're completely against throwing the challenge and they have a different plan in mind voting Tiffany out. But more on that later, the Tiffany plan, it's gonna fall apart. Number 13, mom apply. It was a funny little commercial break with Jeff Probst asking everyone's mom to apply for Survivor. But I'm here once again asking everyone to subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you aren't subscribed yet, please do that and help me pass Russell Hansen subscribers. And as a bonus, once we hit 10,000 subscribers, we're gonna be making a dedicated video interviewing Russell Hansen. Number 12, challenge time. Come on in as the teams will be Ben, Tiffany, and Kenzie, Hunter, Charlie, and Maria, and finally Liz, Q, and Venus. We all saw it. It made for great TV, but probably super awkward for the players on the island as everyone wants to avoid Q. And this is a challenge where you can't avoid your teammates. You gotta work together as the players will run in three stages with a balance beam and digging sand to start. Stage two, you gotta build a bridge and do a ball toss. And the final stage being a brutal endurance challenge. I'm going to put my Survivor fan hat on again and go out on a limb right now, Q, and say that you, Liz, and Venus are first out and have no shot. Yes. Let's see. Number 11, Immunity Challenge. When we saw stage one, I assumed the final part of the challenge was just gonna be who can hold the balls the longest, cause that actually is an endurance challenge. And I was conflicted on my feelings of Jeff calling out the weakest team and being proven wrong with Kenzie, Ben, and Tiffany eliminated in round one. Round two was gonna see Hunter dominate again, but everyone needs to walk across their own bridge. And every player needs to hit their own ball as Q, Liz, and Venus get eliminated Round three was the final part of the challenge, obviously, where the immunity necklace was gonna be given away. And for some reason, just watching the episode, I had a feeling Hunter really needed to win this or he'd be in trouble. As Maria drops out with a Hunter versus Charlie showdown and Hunter finally loses a challenge, which means Charlie gets her big check for his winner resume later in the game. Number 10, after the challenge. Okay, here we go again. The group starts very quiet as it's one of those things where no one wants to make the first move. So does anyone want to volunteer to go home tonight? Or <laughs> no. <laughs> Number nine, Q trying to work. It is really fun to watch no one really wanting to work with Q, but much like Tiffany and Hunter earlier in the video, I don't like Kenzie's winner chances. Flat out refusing to work with Q to his face, it doesn't look good when you refuse to work with players. Number eight, the plans. My mind was completely blown when Kenzie comes up with the idea to take out her biggest ally in Tiffany. I guess there was a possibility of this actually happening, so let's pause. Put it on the plan board. We also have Hunter as one of the options with being a physical beast and obviously Q with no one trusting him in the game. But hold on, it gets even trickier leading into number seven, Kenzie's move. For whatever reason, the entire cast of Survivor 46 is obsessed with the idea of getting credit for the move. I could be forgetting some, but on the top of my head, it's happened with Liz, Venus, Tevin, Kenzie, Q, and now Charlie and Maria. With the only reason Maria doesn't want to vote Tiffany out because it would mean that Kenzie gets credit for it. So things are about to get spicy leading into number six, Charlie and Tiffany. I think this conversation with Tiffany saying she will play her idol no matter what is what led the players to actually keep her safe. If she didn't say that, they probably would have voted for her. Number five, the new plan. In Survivor, typically whatever the last plan is said before they head off to Tribal Council, that's what the real plan is going to be. Everyone is in on the plan to vote for Hunter 
except for Liz and Q. And I guarantee you this shot right here, the producers were freaking out how they were able to pull that off. Number four, Hunter's Idol. Going into Tribal Council, I 100% agreed that Hunter was the right move, especially with no one knowing about his idol. And the good news was I was convinced that Hunter would actually play the idol to save himself. But it all goes downhill from there and he wants to overplay and tells everyone about his idol. Number three, split vote. Hunter, Hunter, Hunter. This bomb was dropped and now the vote is split between Hunter and Q. And I really wish Hunter played his idol leading into. Number two, tribal council. Let me know in the comments down below your thoughts on this whole bit of Jeff Probes giving the players popcorn and having a cushion. We get a little bit of Tiffany versus Q and it's insane to look back on how they started out the season as allies. And I also really love the little point where Hunter made about how chaos, it's only good for people on the bottom. Ultimately, this was one of the first times in a long time that I was at the edge of my seat waiting to see if the idol would get played or not. Leading into number one, Hunter voted out. In the process, Tiffany didn't play her idol. There was a re-vote for Q and Hunter, and Hunter goes home with an idol in his pocket. Anyways, congratulations, Henry. You're this week's puzzle giveaway winner. I'll announce a new winner next week. Click right here for the rise and fall of Russell Hans and click right here to take advantage of the biggest sale of idol plays this season.